Good morning, or good evening, or good afternoon, wherever in the world you may be, whatever time of day it may be, I am going to talk to you about the new VitalStim device. VitalStim has been around for a while. It is the use of electrotherapy for the treatment or in the treatment of dysphagia, swallowing problems. And about 10, 12 years ago, it was introduced with technology that was fairly basic. Many of you will know this little device. It is the basic VitalStim handheld device, which has two channels of current with an up and down intensity control and an on off button. And that's pretty much it. The therapist, the clinician cannot change anything to the way this device works. The reason for those limitations is because here in the United States, the FDA, which is the regulatory body for equipment manufacturers, they did not allow any more edits because they were concerned that there may be risk. Applying electricity in this part of the body has always been a bit of a concern to the FDA. So they said, no, we don't want to allow any modifications of the current. Well, that was 10, 12, 13 years ago now things have changed. There have been no adverse events in all the years since VitalStim has first been introduced. So now they are loosening the reins a little bit, so to speak. So the new version of VitalStim is this. It's called VitalStim Plus. It has various features that really represent a big improvement and a big enhancement of opportunities for the clinician. And I'm going to quickly introduce them to you and then follow that up with a number of videos over the next few days and weeks that will hopefully give you an idea of how to use it. So not only will this video introduce you to the unit if you haven't got it yet, but it will also um, orient you to the features if you have it and you'll be able to get going and get the most out of these features. So let's get going. The device itself is a handheld device and obviously therefore uses batteries. These are either rechargeable batteries or throwaway um, batteries. So whatever you want to do, however you want to do that is fine. The basic features are a touchscreen interface. It's a colored touchscreen. If I turn the device on, you'll see the color screen appear and it is fully touch responsive. First thing to note, this touch screen is touch sensitive as in pressure sensitive. It's not a capacitive screen like you might find on a cell phone, on a mobile phone. This is more pressure sensitive. So you can use it with your finger, with your nail, with a, with a stylus, whatever you may wish. Okay, more about the interface in another video. The buttons on the device itself are very straightforward and very intuitive, very obvious. The stop button stops the treatment that is underway. The start pause button starts the treatment, starts the clock, starts the recording in EMG mode. The back button returns the user interface back one screen. So wherever you were, that's where it will go back to. And then the folder button gives the, the user the opportunity to access some support files some anatomy pictures, some images, some videos, whatever may be useful. The home button takes you back to the home screen where we will, where the interface starts. And then the on off button does exactly that turns the unit on or turns the unit off. And then these four rows of buttons at the bottom are the intensity controls for channels one, two, three, and four. This is the first big difference that people notice with the current handheld device. Whereas this current handle device has only two channels. This device here has four channels. So you're now able to apply electrotherapy, maybe two channels on either one on the other side of the face and one or two on the neck. That is all possible now with this device. You don't need two devices. That's it for the front of the device. At the top of the device, you will see the ports one, two, three, four, outputs for the current. So each channel having its own output, these ports are connectors for the lead wires. 
All the lead wires are color coded so that it's a little bit easier for the user to identify which lead wire goes to where and how do you increase the intensity for the one or for the other. So that's these two, the two on the left and the two on the right. And then in the middle are two additional ports. The black one is for the reference lead wire for EMG, service EMG biofeedback. More about that in another video. And the white one is for the handheld switch. I will show you that now, but I'll give you more information about it in a minute. This switch is to activate the treatment and then release it, let it go whenever the therapist wants it. So it's a very customizable intervention or delivery of the current. So that's the handheld switch. And those are the ports at the top. Then the back of the device has the speaker at the top. You don't need to do anything with that, of course. And the battery compartment. The battery compartment, very basic. It takes AA batteries. The AA batteries can either be rechargeable batteries like the one I've got in here, which is recommended, or they are disposable batteries and in which case you just have to change the batteries from time to time. Then the last feature for this video that I want to show you is this little port on the side. This is the access port for the micro SD card. It's a memory card. If you peel the plastic back, you see the little card here on the side. You just click in order to release it. And it is a tiny little card, memory card. This memory card contains files of patients if you choose as a user to save your patient data to the card. So all the patients will fit on here. There's room for many, many patients. And every time you as a clinician turn on the device, you'll be able to draw up to retrieve those data points of previous sessions of your patients. So that is often very useful, obviously. You might also decide to just take this and with the help of an adapter, you, I've got a USB adapter, but there's many different ways of of doing this, but now I've slid my card into the USB adapter. I stick this USB adapter into the PC and now I can retrieve this data and put it in my electronic medical record wherever I happen to work. The other reason that this card is important and I want you to kind of pay attention to this if you're going to own one of these pieces of equipment is this is also the vehicle with which you can upgrade the software. If I copy on this card upgrade software upgrade files and then stick it back in here in the device like so and then turn the device on it will automatically upgrade the software to the latest version of course all the software upgrades are included with the purchase they'll be posted on the website and people can just get the latest version of the software on their device and that is really it so front screen touch screen couple of very basic buttons, intensity controls, the access port for the memory card, and then finally the battery compartment over here. And that is it for this video. Look for the next ones where I will go more in depth into the various features, the individual operation, which patients this is most suitable for, etc.